Most of you do not understand the difference between Agni Sara and stomach lift. They are two different things. Entirely. Come on, Dr. Weigel here. Show them what is stomach lift, abdominal lift. This is abdominal lift. He is lifting the abdomen. But this does not make Agnisara. This prepares your abdomen for practicing Agnisara. And Agnisara prepares you for activating your solar system. Remember this. Systematically, if it is done, it is not a long time. How many times you do Agnisara? 100 times at least. How much you have to begin with? 25 times. What is the difference between stomach lift and Agni Sara? He will describe. Now, this is stomach lift. Now, what is Agni Sara? Now, this is Agni Sara. Let it go. He's pulling in above the pubic bone, and then it's coming up. Okay. Let's see again. Rolling up. The abdominal contents roll up towards the chest cavity after he pulls up. When will it happen? When you have done a stomach lift, when you are muscles, abdominal muscles become supple, then it will become easy for you to do it. When you have done Agnisara hundred times, you have acquired good health. Another problem comes in it. Sexual feelings, sexual activities increase so that you have to control during that. You have to control two things. Appetite, sexual appetite and food appetite. You see. I have seen a man, his name, he writes, uh, Paul Brenton, doing sex with 90 women in the row. <laughs> I have never seen such a bazaar anywhere in the world. And he is still alive, that man, his name is Masuri Samser, he is from Nepal, from royal family. He misused the power of this, and Paul Brenton writes about him, Masuri Sansir is his name. These practices could mislead you if you don't have guidance and if you don't see guidance. But these practices are very healthy. You can control any physical disease, disorder, if you practice. No Ashwini Mudra, no Mula Mudra. First you do a stomach lift for one or two months when your abdominal muscles become supple. Then you draw in right from this pelvic. Draw in, draw in, draw in. As though something is rolling up. And then, not force, relax. In certain cases, yes, do we do this in exhalation? <coughs> no, you come here, I'll tell you, so that they can learn again. Come on. One rule is being applied from the very beginning. When you pull in, push in, you have to exhale, and when you relax, you have to inhale. This is from right from diaphragmatic breath to, you say, this is called stomach lift and agnisara. When you push in your abdomen, it should, you should exhale. This is a law. Because that muscle diaphragm presses in your lungs and 
it becomes easy for you to exhale because of the bad habits, active living that reverses. So that regulates the motion of lungs and helps the motion to expel the carbon dioxide and used up gas. But Agni Sahara is different. You don't have to use any. The same exhalation when you inhale, push in, exhale, and when you relax, allow it to come out, inhale. Don't force when you exhale. Many of you force when you exhale. No. Force should be used only when you exhale, not in inhal inhalation. Any question on this? No. Okay. Thank you. Is it only one breath? Or the one in breath, one exhalation, one inhalation? Yeah. Yes. By that time, you have trained your breath. Yes. Nali provides benefits, is that Nali is entirely different kriya, which benefits the abdomen. Nali is churning, you see. Yes, wait. Sorry, can you do the breathing quickly? Can you do it quickly or does it have to be done very slowly? No. In quickly, you cannot draw in the whole abdomen to its final desired state. Yes? What is the ideal time for one Agni Sara, or say how many per minute? According to your capacity. My capacity differs from your capacity, so the idea time also differs. Perhaps I have practiced long breath, you have not. So idea of time goes according to your breath. Yes. When you're doing like 100, is it permissible to do more than one lift per breath? No. You cannot complete that role, entire role from here. In stomach lift you can do. Sometimes you do in stomach lift faster. But this is, this is just Agnisara. There's a difference between stomach lift and Agnisara. Uh -huh. It's still, you should only do one per breath. Yes, sometimes even one breath is not sufficient. You have to coordinate with the, your breath and the muscle pull. Yes? You mentioned earlier about speaking about eliminating past samskaras. I'm coming to that. Don't jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't forget my subject. to do now only and I get impatient with Agnizar. Because you, do, you have not developed patience. <laughs> Simple thing. Patience is a different virtue. It is not attained through Agnizar. <laughs> okay. Yes. He, he said in the description that you were rolling up. It, it didn't roll all the way up into Uddiyana Bana. It just rolled up and with the breath and came back down. Yes, the... as far as you can. As far as you can. Huh? How do I do it on the chair? How do you do? You can do it. By putting your hands on the abdomen, and watch my abdomen first. Will you watch? Now, ask your hands to put, push your abdomen as far as you can. And then gently relax your hands. This way you can help. That's why the back, sand bag, other weights are used for it. Up to 12 pounds, you are allowed to do that. Because the capacity of your diaphragm is tremendous. You can move grand piano. Yes. 